So today we're going to play um, some Robinson Crusoe. It's uh, a brutal game. I'll tell you beforehand because, to be honest, I've lost more pots than I've uh, more games than I've won. But it's also a very cool game, where in everything can happen, mostly bad things. The island is trying to kill you, and you'll know it pretty soon. Everything can look going your way, but then in a round or in two rounds. You're just dead, and uh, you have no way of winning the game anymore. Um, so yeah, it's a survival game. We've washed up on the beach, and we have our carpenter. So this is our carpenter, and we have our explorer character. So they both have some skills that they can use. Um, the carpenter. He can do things like build stuff easier and explore it. He can do things like actually look into the deck of island tiles and uh, see if he can find something that is uh, useful for us at that moment. We need those stuff to actually happen um, to eventually win the game because to be honest, uh, it's going to be one hell of a, one hell of a job. The thing is, it takes determination tokens, and the determination tokens, oh, I forgot a token over here. They have to do with morale. This is the morale, it's at zero right now. We can bring it up to two plus a health each round, but probably we're going to be going the other way, and that's to, min, uh, to, to minus three. And if we go to minus three, uh, we need to have uh, morale of three. We have to pay that each time. The starting character, which is the carpenter at the moment, uh, needs to pay it. And if we can't, this is a general rule right here, is that if we can't do something, then probably we're going to lose a life. And as you can see on the character sheet, like the carpenter, he has four life to begin with, and then we lose a morale. Three life, we lose a morale. Two life, we lose a morale. And eventually, when he's dead, we, uh, we, we only have one character left. And to be honest, with one character, it's uh, even, even more hard, near impossible to win. Maybe if we survive within the last round. So, who do we have that could help us? So I'm actually cheating here a bit. Because if you're doing solo or two, uh, you have the dog. But normally, if you play two-handed or two-player game, uh, you won't have the dog. You only have Friday. But since I've lost this game more than I've won it, I thought might as well put in the dog. You'll see. It's not really cheating because the game is actually still pretty hard. So Friday, he can help us do everything. So he can build. He can explore. He can even fight uh, some monsters or animals that we could find here in the jungle. But the dog, he can only do an explore action or he can do a fight action. If he goes with Friday or with the carpenter or with the explorer. So we actually have two starting items as well. So this is good for the carpenter. We have the hammer and the nails, which gives us one extra guy that can help us build faster or let's say without risk I'll explain later what the uh, what the risk is all about and we have an empty bottle which temporarily ch changes our uh, uh, weapon level and the weapon level is actually now at zero I need to put some tokens in here as well and see that we haven't yet built our uh, our shelter yet but we'll come to that in a second as well so we can temporarily raise it you also have the pistol it's the better variant but I thought let's make it ourselves not too easy and go for the empty bottle and we're playing in the scenario castaways so in castaways uh, the scenario of the goal is to survive until one of the last three rounds and in turn build a, uh, a wood pile which we burn in the end and then the ship will rescue us 
That's easier said than done. Each round we can only complete one phase and then we actually have to gather the wood as well. To help us we have a hatchet and we need to uh, explore to find the mountains and it actually costs a wood to build but then in the, uh, in the round uh, where we gather things in the beginning uh, because we do that each round we each round get one wood so it's probably a good thing to build that pretty fast um, and we have a sailing mast or a mast and it needs a rope we have to build that as well some wood we have to find it and a pelt which we need to kill an animal for and it gives us plus three wood but only for the wood pile um, this is actually the starting uh, scenario but to be honest it's uh, it's not a tutorial it's not a tutorial but you've heard me say that a lot of uh, a lot of the time right now so uh, actually we already have something that has happened within the story so we found some food crates so it says you notice some food crates scattered along the shore if we go there with one person or one of our little tokens over here we get one food if we go with two people then it actually says that we get one normal food and one uh, non-deteriorating food so it's in the uh, in, in the form of some bread or a banana so banana they must be eaten and they go away after each round and if you have bread then you can save up on that in the general supply which is over here so as you can see right now we don't have a shelter so also that's a priority and we have a few inventions that can help us so we have some inventions that always are in every game i think that i'll explain them once i'm trying to build them and i'll explain why i'm trying to build them uh, and we have some uh, random ones so we have the basket the spare the wall the moat and the drums and also I'm going to explain that when it arises. So what actually happens in Robinson Crusoe? So you have a story driven survival game. We can find treasures, we can find animals, we can find different discovery tokens and we can go on adventures. And while in normal games adventures are probably good things, you get experience points, you get gold, we don't want to go and have a lot of adventures because in Robinson Crusoe way it's always a bad thing. But we also have to do a little bit of risk management because if we only go without risk, do things without risk, then we'll probably make everything that we want to make at that moment. But we don't make or build or explore or uh, like uh, this card over here. We can't do all the things uh, that we want to do because we have a limited amount of time and we need resources and so sometimes we have to take some risk. Now, so what does uh, taking risk mean? So as you can see over here, for example, if we build something, you have one guy or two guys. Well, if we only use one guy, so one of these tokens, on uh, a task that we're trying to perform then you do it with risk with the risk of running into um, uh, uh, into if you're taking damage running into adventures etc and we do this by rolling these dice so not all these dice are uh, the same so these ones have the a medium fail risk these ones, the gathering uh, guys, they have the, the best chance of actually uh, winning and gathering uh, the stuff that we need. And I think that exploring is the most difficult to actually uh, win and to actually uh, achieve our goal uh, while not having to do an adventure. So as you can see, it's a uh, question mark over here. If we roll this, then we have to do an adventure. And you'll see what adventures are in a moment. So we have washed up on this beach and this beach contains no shelter. 
and it has some wood and it has some fish. So let's see what happens. These are the round trackers. So we do the morale phase first and the first player, he actually uh, gathers morale or he loses morale or in this case determination tokens. So determination tokens are these kind of tokens. And uh, in this round it's still on zero, it's the beginning of the game, so nothing happens. Then we do the gather phase. So as you can see we have some wood, we have some fish, and we gather some wood. And the fish is actually just normal food, so we also gather a banana. Okay, easy peasy. Um, then we actually have to determine what our characters are going to do this round. So normally we would think about mm, 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 building a shelter first. So we actually go from the left to the right, so we need to see uh, what we actually can make at this time. So the shelter is probably not going to work uh, because we have no building comes first before gathering. We have no ways of getting wood in this place and if we're playing two player game, which I'm playing two handed right now, we actually need one wood or a pelt to uh, build. So that can be the shelter, that can be the roof or that can be the palisade or uh, the weapon level and the weapon level is actually one at the moment but it only needs one wood to upgrade. But it needs an action and actions are rare. So we actually can't build a shelter, which means that we'll probably need to sleep in the rain, which will cost us some life points. Hmm, I know for a fact that the shovel will come into play later in the game. So why not build it now? If we build it, probably won't break. Um, maybe a good thing to explain. So there's a black token on top of the shovel. And it hides the symbol for the beach. So the beach, it's like a terrain type. So here, the beach, uh, we, we've explored it. It's the beginning of the game. So the shovel is actually always available to us. And we put in a token. Once we explore the island some more, we might find uh, like hills, the river, uh, the mountain and the plains. And uh, we can only build stuff, so that's also a randomizer in the game, that uh, we uh, have actually uh, discovered and explored. So if we don't find the hills, we cannot build the bricks. That's how it works. Oh, maybe this is also good to explain right now. Each character, it has a, um, a, a unique item that they can build. So for the carpenter, it's actually the snare. If he builds it, he gets two determination tokens, which is good for our morale. Um, and if we build it, then we get a plus one food token on our camp. And that would actually also be very good because we are with two people. We don't have to get a food once we have it. We also have Friday, so he seems like a third person, but Friday does not eat. He doesn't need shelter and he uh, is not affected by weather. Now, weather will come into play later in the game as well, so we'll explain it right then. So Friday is actually used to the island, so he, uh, he, he, he doesn't have the same uh, circumstances and he doesn't need to have um, uh, the same uh, types of, uh, of, of resources that our adventurers actually need. So the explorer, she has the short club, and the shortcut, if you put it on any tile adjacent to your camp, so once we explore the island some more, then we may find some gather spots for some more wood, some more food. And if we put the shortcut over there, we actually also gather from that tile as well. So you see how that can snowball a bit. So I've actually played this scenario before, lost it, Pretty, pretty hard. Um, 
So I actually have a strategy for this time. So I know that the weather will probably kill us very quick. So we actually need to build a roof. But in the later rounds, there are, can also be damage to your palisade, uh, which actually protects your camp. And some wild animals may come in. So we need to build up the palisade, we need to build up our weapon level. But our main goal, remember, is to gather wood for the wood pile. I've actually focused on that the last time in the beginning, which meant that the weather and the palisade were the things that killed me. So maybe I should focus a bit more on the palisade and the roof to, uh, this time, where we also have the luck that the randomized inventions that we get are the wall, which has a little palisade token on it with a plus two, and the mood, which also has a little palisade oak token with a plus two. So that could probably already protect us uh, a lot if we can actually build them. And the nice thing is that they uh, need an uh, invention, so it actually means that we <laughs> that we're pretty much um, needed to explore until we find uh, the bricks. But we also have the mood, which only needs a shovel, and we actually have a shovel. But it needs wood, and we need wood for the wood pile. So you see, you can't do everything, and everything is connected to each other. Okay. Maybe just, let's just start the game. So, where were we? I was going to build a shovel. And I'm going to do that with only one of these tokens. So that means I'm doing it with some risk. Uh, I think that the carpenter is also going to gather some food. I'm going to take the dog and the explorer and in the beginning of the day these are like day, uh, times of days so a half one is he is using half a day of time to actually do this and uh, two tokens means that um, it's, uh, he takes the full day I think that's the explanation that the rule book says I'm going to explore some more and I think that uh, Friday over here is going to collect some food. So this actually has no risk for it for us. This is a risk-free action. It only says if you do one, you get the lesser reward. If you go there with two tokens, you get the bigger, bigger reward. So now we've placed all our tokens and we go into round four. And we're going from this side, from the left to the right. So let's see. So Friday, he went looking for some food. So we take some food and we put it in a temporary supply. So he's coming back to camp. But the resources that he got, has gathered, everybody went a separate way. They are only added to the a general supply at the end of the round so that everybody can use them so remember that when you're playing the game if you get a wood as let's say the explorer you cannot use that wood as the carpenter to build an adventure uh, uh, invention in the in the later part of the of the round okay so this card actually is just discarded so we'll put it right here Let's put it here. And we go for, uh, from the left to the right. Okay, so we are going to build and we're going to try to build a shovel. So we'll take the carpenter. Mm, yeah, and uh, the shovel. But we actually need to roll the dice. So let's see. Hmm. So this is the result, a blank, a success symbol, so we actually make the shovel, but we are hurt in the progress, so um, yeah, we lose on a character sheet. 
a life point. Not the worst outcome, to be honest. So what we do here is we turn around the shovel and now we actually have this adventure available to us. I keep calling saying I keep saying adventure but it's invention of course. Sorry for that guys. Um, are we going to build some more? No. So that means that we're in the next step and the next step is gathering. So the carpenter he is gathering some fish. Let's see if he can actually be successful. Okay. So here's the adventure token. So as you can see, this is our result. We have a success, we have a blank, and we have an adventure. So what happens when we get an adventure? Let's take the food. Uh, oh, I've already. <laughs> yeah, because we actually didn't need three food. So he could have done gathering some wood. I'm actually just going to play it as I've taken some wood. Because it's the same action anyways. And if I knew it, then uh, I wouldn't have done so. So what happens when we get some an adventure? So we take the top card and we look at it. Uh, normally it's a two, a two part, so it has a bottom half and a, uh, a bottom half and the top half and the top half actually says what it does now and the bottom half says what it does later so I actually will try to cover it up so that you don't see what ha actually happens when we uh, put it, uh, take it from, uh, from uh, 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 the revelations deck I think it's called okay so unexpected troubles you went to bring some resources but you also brought something else bad news cover the terrain type on the tile while you are gathering resources um, with a with a black token. Treat this terrain type as unexplored on this tile. Okay, so this is actually one of the best adventures that we could have gotten. So we've already built the shovel, and the shovel is the only one that needs the beach land, uh, the, the the beach terrain, uh, to be built. And we keep the shovel while we now put this black token on the beach terrain on the tile we put this one over here and now if something needs the beach terrain in the future we can't use it well not the worst thing in the world I'll take it okay so now we have the adventure uh, of the adventure the ex exploration action so as you can see we have two different uh, ways of, of exploring at the moment. So we have this one, which is, which is an automatic success. So if you use two tokens, it's an automatic success. So we'll put back the dog, and we'll put back the explorer, and we'll take an exploration tile. So there's a, these ones. Let's see what we've discovered. Okay, so we've discovered the hillside. It has access to food, it has access to wood, so there are both things that we actually need. Um, it has a totem on it, which in this scenario has no effect, unfortunately, or sometimes uh, you rather have that it doesn't have an effect, but because most of the things that have effects in this game is something bad that happens, and we get a discovery tile. So, the discovery tiles are over here, we'll turn around one. And it's some tobacco. So we find a pack of cigarettes. And if we want any time to, during the game, it now goes into our temporary in our uh, temporary resources. But uh, somewhere in the future, if we need some more morale, then we can use it. And our adventurers can smoke a little bit of tobacco. And we've discovered the hill terrain time. So, we'll take some black, uh, black tokens, and let's see the hills, we now can build fire, 
and the knife. So the knife actually gives us an upgrade to our weapon level and the fire it gives us an upgrade to our palisade. Both nice things, which we'll probably need later, but you can't do everything in this game. Okay, so now we have another discovery action. So we'll take the, oh, let's see. So we'll take the uh, uh, Explorer token, and this time we actually need to roll the dice. So, okay. So let's see what we have. Um, we have success, and we are going on an adventure. So what happens to our explorer? Signs of fire. The whole area is wasted after a massive fire. Cover one source on the tile that you are exploring with. Okay, so maybe we need to take the exploration tile before we do the adventure this time. Okay, so another tile which has access to food, wood. Um, we get a discovery token and the totem has no effect in this scenario. So now we'll take this one. Okay, so these are actually randomized tokens, which in each scenario can mean one thing or the other. So we'll put it probably over here and let's see what we actually get. So these herbs, because as you can see, this is a gray one with two stripes on the side and the herb says it's a plus one health. So we can use those herbs anytime we want in the near future. Okay, but we were going on an adventure. So it actually says cover one source on the tile that you are exploring with a black token. It is exhausted. If the exploration was not successful, then put a black token on the island space that you were exploring instead. If the space is explored later, cover the source on them. If the space is explored later, cover the source on them. Ah, okay. So it means that we have to still place the exploration tile, um, but in this time in case we succeeded and you put the black token on it and the next time that you actually succeed in exploring it, you have to put a black token on one of the resources. So let's see. Um, I think that in this case, because we need all the wood that we can get in this scenario, we'll cover the food. And this one goes back to the, to the bottom of the pile. Okay, so now we're actually done all of the actions that we could do this round. All the tokens are back. And now comes the weather round and the night round. So the weather round, in this case, it doesn't come before the full round. So let's actually already move to the next round. But the night phase, you see it over here, night phase, players can move the camp to an adjacent island tile. And I think that we will do that. Because it takes more actions to explore further. And we actually have a nice tile over here, which has some food and it has some wood as well. So this is probably the best action that we can do at this time. Um, each player must discard one food or they get two health losses. So in this time, in the night phase, we move everything from the temporary resources to the, the, the general supply. And we are actually with two people, so one, two bananas, we'll put them back in our little box over there, and now we've ate them. So let's see, if you do not have a shelter, each player gets a damage. Okay, we don't have a shelter yet, as you can see, so we each get a damage. Hmm. Worrying, but at this time, I don't think we could have done anything to actually uh, mitigate that. 
So discard all remaining bananas and keep any bread. But at this time we don't have any bananas left. Okay. So we're in the next round. Um, what we didn't do the last round, we didn't take a revelation. And a revelation card is a card in which everything can happen. Um, we change the first player token as well. In this case, it says the following mess in the camp. It takes time to clean that mess. Put a minus uh, person token in the arrange camp action space. So this actually means the arrange camp action space is the space that we can use to gain two determination tokens and move up on the morale ladder. So in this case, if we take the token that it was talking about, we put it over here. And now, normally you could take this action with one dude, and now you have to take two tokens to do it. If we do it with two persons, then the token is removed. But these actually move over. So once we draw another card, it comes here. This one shifts over here. And if it gets from the board, then it uh, actually does the thing that uh, is uh, being explained over here. So each player discards one determination token. If you can't do that, then you uh, take damage. So we actually need one person to go here and says discard, discard and get one determination token. To be honest, that's a very costly action. For one token, only one determination uh, token. So maybe we can just forget about it for this moment in time. Okay, so now we do the morale phase. It's still at zero. So the explorer gets no determination tokens and we do the gathering. So a parrot, it's also food, a wood, and this actually, because the day hasn't started yet, goes into the general supply. So now we have access to one food and three wood. Um, and now we move over to the action phase. So let's see, we need a shelter. We need a shelter and to build it, I'm actually going to use the hammer and the nails. So I'm going to discard this token. It means that we only have one of these actions left. And I'm going to add one guy on top of the carpenter and we'll do the build shelter action. It's going to succeed anyway. And a little trick that I always do is we put the resources that it actually needs. So in this case, two wood on top of it. So you don't forget that you actually will be needing those resources before you can actually even build. Okay, so that's the first thing that the carpenter is going to do. What is the second thing? The second thing that the carpenter is going to do is mm -mm -mm. we could build a knife mm. yeah i think we'll do that i think we'll build a knife okay so repeat it last time we're going to explore the island a bit more and i'm going to explore in this way, I'm using the Explorer and the Dog, so this will succeed automatically as well. But let's also take a risky action, risky exploration action. So only Friday is left. So Friday could actually go here, but I think that he is going to gather some food. So this is actually a risky move on, it, on itself, because if the food gathering doesn't work, then we don't have enough food and we actually use two damage. So 
maybe maybe we'll do something like this mm. but if you explore you can find some food as well sometimes and if you do that yeah, but it's it's a roll of the dice it's it's luck based so okay let's not take our chances so this will be a bit more of a safe round instead of the last round we'll do some more safe things only building the knife which is understandably something that you can hurt yourself in so uh, the carpenter is going to build the knife is the only risk action that we're going to take this round okay so first action of the revelation cards it will not have any effect um, building so we build this goes back over here this goes back over here and this goes back over here and now we actually have a shelter and we also turn over this token and then he's going to build a knife with some risk involved so we're actually going to roll some dice okay so this is the other thing that can happen we don't have an adventure we have some damage so i'll actually move this one up so if we lose two more damage then we go and lose a morale as well so we have to be careful for that um, but now he gains two determination tokens so he's determined uh, in, in the, the work that he's done but actually he failed so now we have two of these tokens and these tokens can be used to perform some special actions or to pay if we lose some morale i think i'll hold, hold on to these uh, for now so it's going on as playable we don't get a second chance this is going back on this player board as well and now we move over to the gather action so the gather action at this time it's an automatic success so with the two tokens involved we get the explorer on friday and we gather some food okay and Exploration is also an automatic success. So the explorer and the dog. Let's see what we get. We get another hillside. Oh, I forgot. I need to put some black tokens on the plains terrain type as well. So we could have actually made a rope or some medicine this round. The rope and the medicine can come in handy too because we need the rope for the mast to put on the wood pile and we need medicine if someone where he takes an adventure maybe gets sick in the future okay so we get another hill terrain type it's actually not that good because we need other terrain types to build more inventions um, we get a discovery token yeah and it's a goat i told you that we could find some uh, some some food so uh, this is actually food but it's a goat and we can kill the goat if we have a weapon level of minimum of one because there's a skull on it to gain a pelt and a food and uh, this is actually perishable food but it only gets perishable once you kill the goat so at this moment in time we'll put it in a temporary food pile um, and there's also an animal which we find over here the animal goes into the animal pile and now this opened up another action uh, the action to hunt so maybe we'll do that next round because if we have some pelts then we can start building on the palisade or on the roof and this also has another sign or not, uh, another symbol and it's a natural shelter so what we could do is uh, actually gain shelter in this area uh, like in the first round we couldn't yet build a shelter but if we have found or explored this one 
we could have moved the camp to here and we actually didn't have to sleep in the rain and lose the damage. Okay, so now this is everything for this round for the actions. We have the weather phase. The weather phase is not happening this round, it only comes up in round four. So in the night phase, players can move the camp. To be honest, I think I'll actually do that again because the shelter at this moment in time. It only is the shelter, it doesn't have a roof, it doesn't have a palisade. If you move the roof uh, and the palisade as well, you lose half of that um, of that uh, of, of the upgrades rounded down. So you actually damage your own shelter. But since we don't really have a shelter at this moment, we'll just change it to here. So we have more room to maneuver. Uh, actually, no, we're not going to do that. Because as you can see, it only has one roof, uh, roof, wood, and no food on here. And we need food to survive. So we'll actually just uh, just keep the, the shelter over there. So we move everything from the temporary to the general supply. And we'll eat. So we have the bananas. We'll put them over here. And uh, if you don't have a shelter, we have a shelter right now, each player gets a damage, discard everything except the bread. Okay, so I actually didn't manage to get some wood right now, so that, that means that we cannot build on our palisade or on our roof right now, just yet. We could do something about our weapon level, because we have one wood at this moment. And maybe that's also a good thing for if we fight, but fight comes in the order before building. So, hmm, maybe it's not the, the best time to go hunting right, uh, just yet. Okay, so we've moved the round tracker to round three, and we take another revelation card. So the revelation card says, thunderstorm. Lightning hits a tree and it starts a fire. The closest wood, camp tiles first, is exhausted. Cover it with a black token. Hmm. So, in our camp, the wood, to the wood is, uh, is covered. If there is no wood, each player loses a damage. Okay, so... We don't get that yet. As you can see, there's a gray question mark and a gray question mark. We place it on top of the gather adventures. The next time we take a gather action, if it is with two people or with one people, it doesn't matter. We have to do an adventure. And what happens if we do the bottom assignment? It's the shovel. I told you that it would be and uh, coming into play and a person and it's uncover the exhausted uh, wood and discard discard resolve the effect of this event again okay so the fire will keep spreading that's that's the, the the bottom thing resolve the effect of this event again if we do not do this then the fire will keep spreading to neighboring tiles so we actually have some urgency to actually do this assignment. So we'll probably do that. So it's a good thing that we made the shelf. Okay. So that was round one. We'll move the first player tracker. We're still at zero morale. So we're actually not very happy. We're not very sad as well. We still think that we can manage. And... Uh, we gather. Well, this is a bit shitty right now because we only get one food. Okay, so we're back into doing actions. So the one food is we could always, if we build our weapon level to a minimum of one, we can always use that to. Um, uh, kill the goat. So I think 
that Friday with some risk is going to try to build a we the weapon. Mm, yes, that would probably be good. And I think that the carpenter is going to try to build some fire and the knife, all with risk. The explorer, so this will be a very risky round. We'll do some risky exploration. And we can always kill the goat if one of the, uh, of the weapons succeeds. Uh, we'll put some resources over here so we don't forget about that. Mm, and we also have the dog with us. And they can only do exploration or fighting, so actually one of these exploration action is going to be risk free. Okay, so now, oh, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. I have some priorities. So each player discards uh, a morale. This also means that if we don't get morale right now, uh, if we don't do this one, sorry. So if we do not do this one, we all lose a morale, which also means we lose damage. Let me put this over here. So which also means it does damage, because we don't have determination tokens at the moment. Oh, the carpenter actually has some determination tokens. Okay, so it wouldn't be the worst thing for the carpenter. And to be honest, the explorer, it only has one damage at this time. So maybe just, we don't focus on this one. We only focus on this assignment, which needs the shovel and one person on it, and we can then gain our wood tile on the exploration token back. So we'll actually keep exploring with this one. Yeah, I think that this is uh, this is the best course of action. Okay, so let's see. We don't do the first one, but we do the second one. We have the shovel. So we can actually do the action. So it says, uncover the exhausted wood tile and discard this card. Okay, so discard it. And we remove the black tile from the wood. Okay, so we're not going to hunt this round, but we are going to build, and we are going to build with a lot of risk. So let me put this over here. So let's see, we'll first do the building with Friday. So Friday can get damaged actually as well, and he can get damaged very hard because um, if you roll an adventure, Friday doesn't go on adventures, he only uh, gets wounded. So every adventure token and wood token are uh, wounds for Friday. Okay. So we actually succeed, let me put it more like this, we actually succeed, but he gets two wounds, which immediately makes it pretty hard for Friday to do risky moves at this time. Hmm. I was hoping for a better result, but to be honest, we get our weapon level to one, and that's a good thing, because in the next uh, round we're probably going to hunt and we need to kill the goat for some food. So that's good. So let's try and keep pushing our weapon level. So we'll use the carpenter and we'll do some dice rolling. Hmm. So he really wants to make that knife, but he just can't seem to succeed. So we have two blanks and two determination tokens. Okay. So with these two determination tokens, he could do some special moves in the next round. So maybe that's something that we want to do. Because now he has a lot of determination tokens uh, while he only has to pay one morale. Uh, once we go down in morale, which actually hasn't happened yet. So. Maybe we'll use some special uh, special moves this uh, this turn, next turn. Okay, 
So let's see if he can actually build a fire then. What kind of a carpenter are you? If you can't even help us build a fire. Okay, so he actually succeeds. Let me put it in front of the camera. So with an adventure, but he actually succeeds. So we'll take back the token. And the fire means that we'll build up our palisade level. So we have that. And we are going on an adventure. Hmm. Fast work. You work quickly. It, oh, let's, uh, let's, let's do this. You work quickly, ignoring outside concerns. Decide, discard this card or take one more building action. You must roll all three dice and shuffle it into the event deck. Okay, so we actually can do a little bit of cheating. I didn't look at the bottom side of the card. I don't really know what is on the bottom side of the card. I have no recollection about this card ever being in the game before. And we can do another build action if we want to. So, let's see. Oh. So let's see. And uh, the fire will build. So we have that. We'll take back the token. Is there anything that we would want to make? Actually, yes. The knife. Yeah. We want to make the knife, but we have to roll the dice again. <laughs> okay, so this is the result. Two determination tokens, so we'll definitely use those next round. A damage and an adventure. So what happens now is that we actually need to put this adventure card into the revelation card pile and we need to shuffle it. It can come back at any random moment in the next turns. Okay, I always shuffle under the table so that I don't see which card is on top. And we put these back over here. But now, since we got two more determination tokens, let's take those. And uh, we rolled another adventure, we need to do another adventure. So we'll do this as well. Savings. You, find some, you found some weak branches. You think about saving them for future use. Decide. Discard, discard, or get two wood and shuffle it into the adventure deck. Okay. Into the event deck. Okay, so it's not called the revelation deck, it's called the event deck. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'll just, I'm just going to... Hmm. So if we have some wood, we could actually build some more roof next turn. This game is all about taking risk. I'll take the risk and I'll put this one into the adventure deck as well. So, we'll shuffle and we'll put it over here. Okay. So now let's see. Um, we did the building. So we'll put, take back the dice. And now the only thing left to do is an adventure action. It is again a risky move. Okay, we succeed, but with an adventure. Oh, sorry, let me put these so you can see the results. So we take back the token and we actually look at what we found. So we found the hillside. It has wood. It actually has another animal and two discovery tokens. So we shuffle up the animals so that we don't know which one is on top. We actually don't know anything at this moment in time. So these are here. We get two discovery tokens. So one from this pile. Okay, candles, so those can help us with building stuff. And another one from this pile. Uh, 
flourishing larvae. So this is actually uh, food that is perishable and we need to use it this round. Okay, so maybe the goat can live one more round. Oh, and we need to take the wood, of course. Okay, you probably were <laughs> already saying that I needed to take that, but no problem. We we uh, we got it. Okay, uh, so let's see. We did everything, I think. So we did all the actions. Uh, we don't have to do the weather phase. So now we move everything down here. And we'll use these ones. And we throw away this one. To actually eat this round. We have a shelter so we don't sleep in the, in the rain. Um, maybe we'll just use the tobacco this round as well. So we'll bump up our morale track. Um, we could heal. Mm, do we need that? Mm, did I roll damage for the carpenter? I think I rolled the damage. Mm, okay, I think I did it and I didn't uh, put in the damage. So I'll just do that. And then use the herbs. So you remember it's plus one health. And we'll discard this one. And we'll actually remove the damage again. Um, so yeah, discard all remaining food, keep any others, and it's the next round. Okay, we're still alive, guys. The explorer only has one damage. Not a lot of determination tokens. Uh, we need to remove the first player round again. But the carpenter he has a lot of determination tokens, so maybe we should look into his uh, his special powers, his special actions. Okay, so the event deck round. Um, the event deck it says, "Sunny beach. It is a beautiful morning, and you wake up in a great mood. You slept well." Um, is a green adventure token so we actually have to always do an adventure this round uh, it has no effect any further and the bottom half says a suspiciously quiet morning if you go there with two tokens each player gets a determination token and if we don't do it each player discards a determination token okay for our carpenter that wouldn't be the end of the world but our explorer, he doesn't have any exploration tokens at the moment. But maybe we'll get some. Okay. So, gathering. We still have the shelter over here. So that means... A food. And a wood. So we actually have one food, one goat, candles and three wood at the moment. And... Then we go back to the, the action phase. So, let's see. Mm, we're going to build something and we're going to hunt. So... Our explorer, he's taking our dog and he is doing the hunt action. This always needs two tokens. Um, then, we will discard this token so we get some candles which means now without any risk we could build the knife we're going to do that because he has already failed twice and he's fed up he's fed up about it then the explorer oh i think i need to put some more yeah forgot it again oh so we found two hillsides uh, uh, sorry two plains and two uh, mountains and I thought that I didn't uh, put any black tokens on it but it was only for the basket so 
That's rough. So we found two of the same terrain types. That actually limits us in what we can do quite a bit. Um, I think the at this moment in time we are going to build a roof. Maybe if we succeed in hunting we can even build twice. Yeah. Mm, no, we're going to do another one. So Friday is going to build a roof. And now I see that we actually already made so let me take it. We already made a, uh, a shovel and we need one more wood. It takes two wood to build over here. We have three wood and we are going to use that other wood, so we'll lay it over here, uh, to build the moat. So yeah, and these two go on top of Friday. Okay, so now we have uh, put out all the tokens, I think. Uh, no, we actually have another one. For the carpenter. Okay, so let's see what all of his special moves are. Maybe that's interesting as well. So economic construction. Scarce, uh, scarce resources. What are you talking about? This is more than enough for me. So discard two determination tokens to spend one fewer wood during one of any action type. So that actually means that he could build with one extra wood. Maybe, maybe later. I've done it a thousand times, I can put it together blindfolded. Discard two determination tokens to re-roll any brown die during your action. Okay, that actually can be useful as well. Um, so we have more chance of actually succeeding in building something. A new idea, discard three determination tokens to draw five invention cards. Choose one and place it on the board. Uh, so we can see if we can find something interesting. Maybe later. And the handyman, this is very basic construction. It won't even take a day to build. Discard three determination tokens to get an additional uh, token like the candle token for one building action. And to be honest, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use three determination tokens. One, two, three. Discard them. And I'm going to use my carpenter. And an extra token to build the rope because if we have the rope then we can build the snare if we have the snare we always have enough food at the beginning of each round so I'm hoping that once we defeat the animal hopefully that's behind that we get some food we actually have one banana so we need one more to actually survive the round All right don't take any damage this round and the rope is also good for uh, building the mast we needed. So now I see another one, which I have to put a black token on, is the hatchet. So one, because we found the mountain, we could find, uh, could build the hatchet. So there's a lot of stuff that you need to keep in mind while playing this game. Um, so let's see, from the left to the right. Mm -mm. So now we'll do the hunting action. We use the dog and we use the explorer. Put those tokens back. And before we do the hunting action, we actually are going to temporarily raise by taking these two empty bottles our weapon level by one. So for this round only, we have a weapon level of three. So let's see if we can defeat the animal with a weapon level of three. It's a boa. And it has a, a level of 2, our weapon level is 3, so that's good. Um, it actually uh, damages our weapon level by 2, so that sucks. I think we need to do it even if we have a temporary weapon level of 2, 3, yeah, yeah I, think, I think so. So our weapon level is zero once again, um, but it is going to give us two food. 
Um, I actually hope that it would give us a pelt as well, but it doesn't. And it's also perishable food. So, we get two food. We're going to eat this round, so that's good. Okay, so the building action. Um, let's see if Friday, oh wait, let's just build these ones because they are all the successes. So these, uh, this we actually built, so now we get a plus one weapon level because we've built the knife and we get a plus, or we get a rope so we can use that in the future. So to make it clear that we have it, we'll put a token over there as well. And now Friday, Friday he needs to roll the dice to see if he can build a roof for us. He can. And I told you that he couldn't take any more <laughs> risky actions. And to be honest, I kind of forgot. Uh, we came away with uh, with it now because he only has one damage but if he takes any more damage then he's dead but he actually succeeded so we have a roof level of one we use the wood Friday he comes back the wood goes back in the storage and we put the dice back over here Okay, so um, the weather phase, we don't get weather still. Um, and the night phase, we move everything down here. All the food goes, all the food is eating, the perishable food. So we now have almost no resources left. We have a shelter, so that doesn't matter. Uh, we've used up our one-time use items almost, only have some candles left and we go into the next round and in this round we actually will have the risk of running into bad weather. But we have a roof right now, so that's okay, probably. Probably not knowing this game, but still. Okay, so we'll take another event unusually cold night so it was a freezing cold night you had the heat uh, you had to heat the camp this got two wood or each player gets one damage okay so we actually have no wood at all so we'll each take a damage and another damage and now we need to put this card over here but as you can see it already has two cards, so now everything moves one to the side, and uh, we have to resolve what is underneath it. Each player discards one determination token. Let's move the first player token as well. Um, determination token discarded, but the explorer doesn't have one, so the rule is he gets a damage. Hmm. So that's not good, but he actually doesn't have a lot of damage at this moment, so he can handle it. I'm more, more worried about the carpenter, but maybe we can do something this round to mitigate that morale loss as well. Um, so this card actually says if we need to warm up, we need to, if we want to warm up, we need to have one person, uh, one wood or one pelt and you can discard this and get one determination token or each player loses one health again. So as you can see things can snowball one way or the other. Most of the time really negative. Um, you don't have time to do everything. So let's see. Ah, we forgot a building action last time. I'm sorry guys, really sorry. I was thinking why does the explorer only have one token? So let's see. Okay. 
So actually this changes things a bit. So he gets two determination tokens, so the wood is actually going back. Uh, the token, it goes away, but this was for the last round. So I'm sorry guys, but um, the explorer got two determination tokens. So because he got two determination tokens, he could actually uh, discard one. So he actually didn't lose a life. Uh, didn't take a damage. And now that we have one wood. Oh, it's just two wood over here. Okay, so that actually makes it use one damage as well. Uh, so let's see. Yeah. Okay. So she was on one damage. And she could pay the determination token, so she didn't take a damage. But she took a damage from the event card. So she's actually on two damage right now. Where the carpenter is on. Uh, for them is still. Sorry guys, sorry guys. Needed to uh, uh, needed to uh, to change that. Okay. So the first player, because we have a morale of one at this moment in time, we actually get a determination token. I don't think that we're going to use it, but because I think that we'll need it in again in the future. Um, gathering, we still get a food and a wood. So we have the food and the wood. And we go and take our actions. So do we want to actually hmm, go and hunt again? I think it can be valuable. I think it can. I see something else. So actually now again, I forgot to put the black token on top of the knife. Again, sorry guys. But the moat and the spear, the spear which gives three plus weapon level and the moat which gives two plus palisade level. And I know that this will come into play later on. Um, they both need one wood. So I'm actually going to use these one woods to try and build this one and to be honest i'm going to use friday don't think that they will do things on his own from now on near that so he's going to help him to build the spear um, so we can hunt the best best time to hunt is in the next round as well because then we have a weapon level which actually can do something so we'll explore, maybe we'll explore here. And do we want to do anything else? Yes, we want to. Hmm. Yeah. We want to gather some food. Because I was thinking each player discards a determination token, but that's not the end of the world. We, we both have a determination token. So yeah, yeah, I think that this is probably the best uh, the best thing that we can do. Okay, so let's see. We don't do this action. We are going to hunt. We are going to build. So we're going to build the spear. It's going to cost us one wood. Friday will come back and the carpenter will come back. And we actually build the spear. Which means that our weapon level goes up one, two, three. So now we have something to defend ourselves with, which is actually a really positive thing in this game. Um, and he's going to build the moat, and the moat 
Uh, he needs to roll for. Okay. So let's see. We have a damage and we have a success. So the moat is built. We use up the wood. We take back the token. Take back the black token. And the mode is built. So we have some defenses. And actually we do one, two. So our mode level is now three. So when the last game I didn't have any weapon level, I didn't have any mode. I had a roof level, but the wild animals and the weather they absolutely destroyed me. So now I think that I'm actually doing fairly good on this side of the of the, the game, but actually I was almost probably even more than halfway in last game and in this game we didn't even make one piece of the wood path which is in the end our ultimate goal okay so let's see um where were we we were at the gathering so we see that there's an adventure he needed to roll the dice, but even if we don't roll that we need to do an adventure, we have to do an adventure this round. So let me put this back. Let me see. put these over here. Okay, so normally, at this point, we would have gotten away with it, a success, nothing happens. But now, because the adventure token was on it, we actually need to do an adventure. So let's see which card we get. End of source. The source that you want to gather is the last in the source. Go for the source that you are gathering from with uh, with black token to indicate that it is exhausted. Okay, so this is not very good. We actually do get the banana. Uh, but the gathering spot is exhausted so we cannot gather anymore from here so now the only place to gather some food is if we go back to the beach or maybe into the explore uh, in the explore tile that we're going to find right now um, but it's not good because we need food it's one of the most important things in the whole game. So maybe we can uh, we can do something about it. So now we do the adventure action. Of the, or sorry, the exploration action. So we use the explorer and the dog. Put back the tokens. And let's see which terrain type that we find. Okay, so we find the river. And the river brings with it another animal. So let's shuffle it a bit. And the river brings in three determination of, I'm sorry, discovery tokens. Another goat. So that's actually pretty good. Because if we kill them, then next round we don't have to gather food. So we can actually stay in our current spot one more time because we have two goats right now. And the belts can help us build our roof. And we can focus on getting the uh, getting the wood. Large leaves, which uh, is very useful because it's going to rain this uh, this this round, and we only have a roof uh, level of one. The maximum rain that you can get is two clouds, and with this one we can uh, discard one of those clouds. So that's actually a very good round. And the treasure. Okay, so this is cool. So we have a treasure deck over here. So there's a lot of cards. I shuffled them before we went to play our game. And if we turn one over, we see that this is uh, this is a uh, this is a monster card. So what what you actually do is you just ignore it. This is a trap card. These all have to do with adventures, by the way. 
this is a treasure card. Hammer, rest in peace. Keep this card starting the next round. Whenever a player uh, rests, so it has like the yellow symbol on it. The yellow symbol refers to this spot in which you can heal up. Mm. Uh, they get uh, one uh, determination token in addition to the usual uh, plus one health. Cannot be combined with the bad item. So in from the from the next round on, we can gather determination tokens at this part as well. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a determination token on here so that we don't forget. Okay, so that's interesting. We have a hammock now, people. These go to the bottom, to the bottom of the pile. I will put them back over here. And we have found the river. So we need to cover the river spots in our adventures, inventions. So we can build a dam and we can build a map. Map will help us with exploration. The dam will help us with some food. Um, yeah. So that were all the actions. This round it actually is going to rain. Uh, the treasure, the, the treasure token is going back, and the other ones are going into the temporary supply. So this round it's going to rain. So let's see what we'll roll. So one roof. So the card actually says, during the weather phase, for each, uh, compare uh, your roof level to the sum of uh, uh, rain and snow dice. For each roof level that you're missing, discard a food and a wood. Well, we have a roof level of one. We roll the one, so actually nothing happens in this round. So that's very good. So as you can see from this round on, we had an uh, orange dice, which was the rain dice. If we get into round 7, we get a uh, rain dice, a snow dice, and a hazard dice, damage dice. Uh, you can uh, get damage to your palisade and you can have wild animals coming in. So, let's see. We go to the next round. We have to do the nice night phase as well. So we eat the two bananas that we get up. And we have still have our two goats. Those will come in handy. So we'll move the first player token. Maybe it's time this round to actually build our snare. So that we can have a food back. Maybe we can even stay in our place if we have that one. I think that's a good one. Okay, so we'll take an event. The island fights back. Cursed island, no doubt about it. Okay, so this is actually, for this scenario, a pretty good card to get. Because, um, actually, the books in this scenario have no effect. So, it is a hard scenario, but in most other scenarios, those do have negative effects as well. So, in this time, it is none. So, let's see. This goes in here. And this bottom one says, each player discards a determination token. One, two, okay, no big deal. I'll actually discard those. Um, the morale phase, the first player gets a determination token. So morale is actually pretty good at the moment. Could be worse. You were over there. And we have the gathering phase. And in the gathering phase we only get one wood this time. So that's a bummer. So let's see. The action phase for this round. Mm -mm -mm. I 
don't want to get a damage because if I get a damage then morale will go down so maybe Friday will go here and he will use the one wood that we get us so we don't get a damage yeah that's pretty good um, We actually put a token over here because we already made the rope. And we want to gather some food still. So we'll make the snare. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We have to go and build some. We have to go and hunt. So that's important. And I think that we'll also be making a map because if we make a map, we can build a shortcut and we can gather in uh, wood in two spots because we're going to need the wood in the later uh, later rounds. Okay, so let's see. Friday, we'll go here with the wood, discard this, and get a determination token. So we'll discard this one. And Friday gains a determination token. So what happens with the determination tokens for Friday? He has may, may discard two determination tokens to re-roll an action die. So he can actually use it to mitigate some damage, but I don't think that I'm going to take a lot of risks with Friday from this point forward. Even with some determination tokens. Okay, so now we're going to hunt and we actually have a weapon level of level 4 so that's actually pretty good so we'll take the explorer and we'll take the dog and did I shuffle these? Well, just to be certain okay a cheetah it's good that we are on level 4 because this is a level 4 beast and actually uh, damages our weapon level so the weapon level is now level 3 it gives us with 2 food which actually means that the goats can stay alive a little bit longer so that's good for them we'll put it in the temporary supply and it gives us a pelt and the pelt is very good so that we can uh, build the roof level up a bit so this animal actually is discarded okay so I think that went very good let's see um, build actions ah I couldn't find the tokens but they were over here so a snare we build it automatically we now have a snare at our camp which means that I can take this token over here I will put it on the camp tile so now normally we will get two food each round but because the supply has run out over there we only get one too bad but I think we're doing good we're doing fine at the moment so no risks there was an automatic success and now we have a risky building of the map so let's take some dice okay so we take a damage but we do succeed so we take one damage but we do succeed in building the map so I'm actually taking this and putting it over here so that we don't forget that we now have a map take back the token and what we get is we get a green token which we can use anytime that we want for an extra token to explore which will come in handy because once we have filled up all this then it takes an extra step and it also takes an extra step to do something without an adventure speaking about adventures I think that we did an exploration uh, yeah, 
we did an exploration with out using the adventure so again sorry guys but i'll make it up and we'll actually do the adventure right now puma you spot a puma in the bushes if you go back to the camp now you will bring death with you decide discard this card and execute the night phase outside of the camp or shuffle it into the event deck okay so we actually have some weapon level and if we do the night phase outside of camp we can only use I've actually checked this last round we can only use food that we as the explorer gathered this round well we didn't gather anything no food at all I think no and you cannot use shelter so if you cannot use shelter and you cannot do food then that's an automatic tree damage we have some weapon uh, level and uh, the event was called a puma so there's probably going to come a wild animal into our camp but to be honest i think they were pretty prepared maybe we can build some more on a weapon level before the puma actually reaches camp so now you know that something like this is going to happen so you can work towards mitigating it but it is another step in which you don't work towards the ultimate goal and that is to build the fire uh, uh, the fire uh, uh, pile, the wood pile okay, so I'm actually going to do this under the table no cheating okay it didn't end up on top so that's a good thing so now, um, this weather die actually goes over here. We did the adventure, ran too late, but no biggie. And we actually need to roll this one. Okay, so this time it says two clouds. So um, in the rules it states, compare your wood level or roof level to the rain and the snow clouds and for each one discard a food and a wood so we do have some food but we don't have any wood but we have this one over here so that's actually coming in pretty handy right now so we have a roof level of one if we discard this one we can mitigate one rain cloud so that so that actually helped us a lot mm -mm. night phase we have two food, we have shelter, no worries, and we're going into the next round, round six. So we have a few rounds left. But everything can go south in a few rounds. So, first player token at the carpenter. And the carpenter takes an event from the event deck. We'll push this one over here. Poisoning. Everyone eats poisonous fruits and feels sick. Perhaps you can use them for something. Okay, so each player gets a damage. So at this time, because it crossed this uh, arrow over here, we go back to zero morale. So eating the poisonous food, it costs us to lose some morale. And we are actually very close to lo using, uh, uh, losing another morale because the explorer is also uh, looking pretty uh, damaged. So if he gets one more damage, then we'll lose another morale. Which is not good because then each round we'll lose a determination token. If we cannot keep up with determination tokens, we lose even more damage and then it all snowballs into a loss, which happens a lot. So what can we actually do? If we use the knife and a person, which actually we both have, discard this card, get a determination token and get a plus one weapon level. Okay, so this is actually not even that bad because we need those, that weapon level and we can actually use it on Friday for this one with the knife. So that seems like the best course of action. Okay, 
So let's see. So in a morale phase, this player does not get any determination tokens because we went back to zero. So we're going to gather because we have this token. It's still one food and one wood. Oh, we need some more wood. We need some more wood very, very badly. Because otherwise we're not going to win. Um, so we've gathered. So we're now going to do the actions. So like I said, Friday, you will be doing this action. Then the carpenter. Oh, I've built a snare, haven't I? That means that I also get two determination tokens. Man, I need to fix this in the subtitles. <laughs> okay. Um, we actually built a map. So the carpenter, he is going to use. Yeah. I think that he's going to do it with one. No, 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 sorry. The character itself needs to build his own unique item. So maybe this round the explorer doesn't explore, but he builds, builds his shortcut. Uh, or maybe Friday helps him and he will explore with the dog. So Friday helps build the shortcut. He's going there with the dog. And he's going over here, so we don't really need to use our uh, green token yet. No, because with, so she can use two wood or one pelt, with the pelt, the carpenter is actually going to build some more roof. And let's see, could there maybe be an adventure that we want to build? So the basket says, during a successful gathering, gather action, you get one additional resource, which you also, uh, which you are gathering, and it can be used for only one action per round. So actually, if we do the uh, gathering action, we can gather wood twice as fast. So that actually is very good in this scenario so he's going to try to build a basket as well okay so let's see if we can do everything this round um mm, now we've taken a token away from the event action which to be honest can probably wait one more round yeah it can wait it can wait Okay, so we don't hunt, but we do build. But we build with some risk. So this is once for the roof. Okay. Very lucky. Only a success. So the belt is going into the uh, into the supply, and we take back the token. And we use uh, the, and we get another roof level, so that will come in very handy. And then we're going to trade the dice again, okay, which actually damages us, but we have a success. So we take the damage, and we've built the basket. And now, once we do the wood gathering action or the food gathering action, if we might need it, uh, we can take double as much as wood. So actually, with building the shortcut as well, we have the possibility to actually build a lot, a lot, a lot of wood in the next up, uh, upcoming rounds. And we've built up our uh, shelter, we've built up our roof, we've built up our palisade, we've built up our weapon level. This actually might be a very good round, a very good game. So let's see. Uh, we take Friday, and we take the Explorer, and we build the shortcut. 
which means that the explorer gets two determination tokens. So let's not forget about that. And we can build a shortcut. And the shortcut, I think we'll need to put it in where we can find some wood. So the shortcut will go back into the beach. And we'll place it on top of the wood so that we know that we now get, during the gathering action, one food and two wood. Yeah, I think wood is better than uh, food at this moment in time. Okay, good. And then we'll do the explore action. And the explore action is actually an automatic win so let's see what we find sorry i had to put in a little cut because uh, one of my phones was full but we were actually doing um this so we went exploring and we found some more river so actually we have three terrain types in five different explored areas so normally that's not good, but I think that we're having a pretty good game this time. Um, so we need to take a discovery token. Poison. Plus two weapon if we have a pot. Do we have a pot? No. And we did not find the hills yet. So that's too bad. Okay. But still maybe something that we can make in the future. The totem is no effect this time so we didn't really gain a lot by doing this um, okay so now we roll the weather dice because we actually used everything I think let's see weather sorry so the weather dice it rolls one rain we actually have a roof of two at the moment, so this is no problem for us. Or shelters. So let's see. We go into the next round. So this time we get the other two dies as well. So this one has more rain clouds, even snow. And for each snow, I think. Uh, for each snow you discard one wood, so that's not good. And we have a red die. This means that uh, it destroys one of your palisades. Uh, this destroys one of your food. And this means that a level 3 monster will come into your camp. And to be honest, the level 3 monster isn't that big of a scare right now. Because we actually have a weapon uh, level of level 3. So to be honest, I think it pretty it goes pretty well, but we need to find all that wood. And I think it's time that we build the hatchet and we're trying to build the mast as well. Okay. So the night phase, uh, we already did the uh, we already did uh, move up the round one bit, but it doesn't matter. So. We actually need to kill off one of our goats right now, but it gives us a pelt, so we could build a mast in the future. So one of the goats is going to be discarded, and we get a pelt and a banana. So the bananas we'll use to actually eat this round, and uh, yeah, we have shelter, so. Nothing, nothing happens over there. Okay, so we move the first player token. Let's see if I can... Yeah, this is better. So we move the first player token to the Explorer. And we draw an event. Now, remember when we put those adventure cards back in the deck? This is the time where it comes into play. I'm telling you, it's going to be something negative. So, let's see. So now we resolve the bottom side. Unsteady construction. You don't feel safe. Draw another card. So, discard this card to get two wood. 
and shuffle it into the event deck. So we once got two wood, but now we lose a morale. So actually, this time, the first player in the morale phase needs to discard a determination token. Luckily, we still have three. So no biggie, but if we take another damage, and here if we take another two damage, the morale goes down and then things can go very quickly. So maybe we need to get a morale up this time as well. Um, okay. So, let's see. Um, we did the morale phase already, but after you resolve the adventure card, you still need to do an event card. So it's droughts. You were lucky to find the riverbed. Unfortunately, it is bone dry. If possible, cover uh, a river on any one tile with a, a black token. Treat the terrain type as unexplored on this tile. Well, to be honest, for us that's not very, uh, very big problem. We'll do this one over here, and we still have another river. So we can still do river inventions. So let's see what will happen. Uh, we can use one person and a shovel. We have the shovel to get one determination token and uncover the river side. Hmm. If possible, cover another river type of one tile with a black token. Treat the terrain type as unexplored on this tile. So are there any more river inventions that we actually need? No, not really. Uh, no. Okay, so actually I think we're just going to ignore this card. This one moves away and it says in the bottom that we need to do the book thing. But in this scenario it doesn't do anything. So, no problem. We'll just discard it. Okay. So this one actually uh, moves up our weapon level. And we get a damage number. So this is something that we want to do this round immediately. And after that maybe we'll even hunt. So let's take back these dice. We did the morale phase. Now we do the gathering phase. So we get one food, one wood. And because we have the shortcut to back to the beach, we get two wood. So one food. And two wood. And one of these woods I'm actually going to place into the wood pile. So you can only build one stage per uh, per uh, um, round. So in this case we still need a minimum of the next four rounds to actually build the wood pile. So we need to really stock up on wood. So maybe we'll have to do some gathering as well. Okay, so which actions are we going to take this round? Um, I said that we were going to do this one. Uh, this one, the knife and the person to get a determination token and a plus one. Maybe it's better to do it with him, so he gets a determination. Okay. Now we're going to hunt. This time we'll actually make the carpenter hunt with the dog. So we get a weapon level of 4 now because this gets resolved before this one. Um, we're still going to... Oh wait. We want to get our morale up as well. So let's see. Hmm, it's getting a bit tricky right now. So we want to gather because we need the wood next turn, and we might need to uh, discard some wood because it's going to snow right now. So maybe at this time we. Okay, we're going to do the, mor do the morale thing. 
and we have to use an extra worker here because of this token and we are actually going to gather some wood okay so um, are we building anything because maybe we can even use this token we're not building anything okay so let's see Mm. Discard, discard, and get one determination token and a weapon level. Okay. So the explorer, she gets a determination token. So we can pay for the morale damage if, if possible, and we actually uh, get a weapon level. So yeah, that's good. And the carpenter, he is going to hunt. So let's see, this is actually, the, I think, the last animal that we found, so animals are very good. Okay, so it's a bear, and it's a bear with six, uh, with a level of six, which means that I actually take two damage. So this is what I told you about, that you take some risks and then it all goes south. So. We get one damage, we get two damage, and now the morale goes down. And actually, our carpenter is nearly dead. So it's a good thing, I think, that we uh, that we are going to uh, push the morale up a bit. And we still get to defeat the animal. Uh, our weapon level goes down by one as well. And we get five food, which actually doesn't help us all that much. Because getting five food only means that we have to discard a lot of it in the end of the round. There are actually some inventions that you can use so that bananas uh, become bread, so that you can uh, uh, storage them forever uh, which would actually have come in very handy because I don't think that we have to have get food anymore for during the rest of the game but in this case we'll probably just uh, have a feast tonight and eat everything and we get two belts from the bear so actually he is really 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 helpful Maybe it's even worse the two damage that we got. Okay. So, um, are we building anything? No. Are we gathering anything? Yes, we're gathering some wood. So let's see. Oh. This card also gets, uh, sorry, this card also gets discarded. So we're gathering some wood. More determination tokens and an adventure. Uh, I would have really wanted to get some wood. So we took the determination tokens. And now we resolve the adventure. Spider. Suddenly a spider drops onto your head. Put a token on your character's head and shuffle it into the event. So. We'll shuffle this in. Okay, and we have a brown card on the top. It's never a good thing. And we put a gray token on top of the carpenter. So we'll see what happens. Um, he didn't gather anything, so we still have the two wood. Um, we don't explore, we'll put back the dice over here, um, then still we have, ah, yeah, we need to resolve this one. So this token goes away because we actually used two people this time. So we use the explorer and we use Friday and we get two determination tokens, which will both go to the explorer. And we bump up one morale, so we're at negative one still. 
but we can manage negative morale for the time being. Uh, maybe we can use some special action later on, but I'm not going to push my luck with it. Okay, so we've done the actions, now we do the weather phase. So let's see. Okay. So I don't think that this is all that bad. So we have three clouds and one level three monster. We defeat the level three monster because we still have a level three uh, weapon. And we get uh, one brain cloud more than we can handle because we have a roof level of two at the moment. So what happens, compare the roof to the sum of the rain clouds for each one missing you discard a food and a wood okay so everything goes back down here so remove a food and we remove a wood a food and a wood so actually that brings us back to one wood again so that's a bad thing okay let's go back in the night phase, we have a shelter. We're going to have a feast. So we have a lot of pelts right now. So I think we'll try and build up our roof a bit more. So all these go back. And we go into the next round. So in two more uh, rounds, uh, actually the ship is going to come. Um, when he comes, uh, we're going to... Uh, we can we can uh, we, we can uh, light up the fire, but we can only build it uh, the wood pile each turn. So this time we need two wood, and if we can't gather uh, gather the wood, then at that moment in time, uh, uh, and we lose some wood uh, because of the the snowfall, for instance. Yeah, then uh, we have to take some damage as well. So. Let's see if we can do anything about this. We'll do the first player token to the carpenter. We have an adventure card. And the adventure card says, Haste makes waste. The construction collapses. Min one roof, min one, and minus one palisade. Okay, so that doesn't help us one bit. So everything is falling, uh, falling apart right now. So we only have one roof left. So maybe we'll have to build uh, two two times this time this round so let's see um and we still have to take the other event card for the next round okay flood water enters the camp and it washes things away we need to put in a green adventure card token turn one item face up to the invention side or uh, one weapon level uh, or one uh, palisade or each player gets one damage uh, okay so let's see is there something that we might can miss like we built the fire to be honest if we put it back on the other side we can build it again and if we build it again we can build up the palisade again same thing with the knife. If we build the knife again, we can get another weapon level. We still have a puma that is lurking around. Um, spare might even be better. Turn one item face up to the adventure side. Hmm. Oh no. I'm sorry, I'm reading this wrong. You have to uh, put it on the adventure, uh, invention side. So let's see which of the inventions that we haven't built do we want to turn over. Because I like that more than the other options. You can build everything. Um, I think I'll do the drums. Okay, so we lose the drums. No, this can't be right. Okay, 
no, 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 because at this moment in time, at the point in time, we, we would have made it. So it's actually one of the uh, things that we uh, have left. Hmm. Okay, so we'll turn over the spear. Yeah. So the negative thing about it is that we. It actually seems pretty positive because we can. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I'm going to play it as though we just need to build the, uh, the invention again and we don't lose any weapon level. It might be a bit of cheating, but I think it's I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Okay, so let's see. So we can uh, use a token and the shovel to discard this card and get a uh, determination token and if we don't do it we lose a palisade level ok well we still have two palisades which is actually pretty good so let's see we I think we did a morale phase uh, we need to do the gather phase so we get a food and two wood because of the shortcut so that actually is pretty good and to be honest I'm immediately going to place the teal wood on top of the pile and then we do the actions so with my carpenter I'm actually going to build the roof twice And I think we should just do one for sure. Well, Friday helps us, and we do one uh, with some risk. Where you're going to build a hatchet. for certain so that we get a plus one wood so in the next phase we get a plus three wood now we need to take some risk at this time we're losing time so if we get it because we have the basket and uh, we actually get a two wood so we are going to get her over here uh, yeah I think that that's the, the, the the best thing to do and we don't use the dog and we don't use the extra map uh, token okay so let's see we're going to resolve it so uh, we're not going to do these are we going to build yes we are going to build one roof level automatically Um, one roof level. I actually think we're going to use uh, three determination tokens. Three. Sorry, guys. Um, to use one of these to actually make it so that it works the second time as well. We need the roof. We actually need it. And we are also building the hatchet. So let's see if we can build it. So we cannot, but maybe we. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope. So. I was looking into the special actions of the explorer, but uh, there's no way we can uh, re-roll a dice. So he actually gets a damage, which means that our morale goes down by one. And uh, he gets two determination tokens. Okay. 
tokens and now he's stacked on determination tokens so he can actually take the morale loss but we're also pretty close half to that at the moment okay um so let's see are those all our tokens no we lose the wood that's actually very bad and we took a risk with gathering as well so we didn't have to go on an adventure but we damaged ourselves and we didn't gather anything okay so we needed this so because of the basket we gathered two wood okay two wood we'll put back the dice and I think all the tokens are back yes so we actually move all this down we are going to kill off our last goat sorry buddy and we use a food and a, uh, a pelt so now we come over at the weather face so we build up our roof so I hope that that comes in handy this time let's hope no snow okay so what this actually means is for each snow you discard a wood so we actually need to discard this wood to keep ourselves warm and we count each rain and each snow and we check if we have enough roof level and we actually do so that's good and uh, otherwise we need to discard it and decrease the palisade level by one so we now only have one palisade left and we go to the next round and we still need to eat we still have shelter so that's no problem maybe we need to do something about the palisade um, so we'll go over into the next round um, did I already do that? yeah 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 I already did that so we'll move the first player token and we'll do an event phase so let's see a tree falls on your shelter each player gets a damage and we have to put this adventure token on top of the building action. Each player gets a damage. So the carpenter gets a damage and the explorer gets a damage. Can be time for us to heal. Maybe. Maybe. So let's see. Um, we can remove the, the tree by using our rope. Discard, discard and get a determination token and uh, wood and if we don't do this card then we need to lower the morale again so this all shifts and this said that we need to cover the other river that actually doesn't matter all that much yeah and this goes away so let's see we have the morale phase and in the morale phase we lose two morale but we have a lot of determination tokens so <coughs> oh, I dropped something we'll pick it up later and we discard this one then we do the gather action so we get one food and two wood one food and two wood and again I'm going to use my tree wood immediately to put it into the wood pile because we are actually 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 running out of time so if we can build a hatchet this round and we get four wood that would actually be very good and if we can in that round build the oh, but if, if we do that then uh, we need another wood to build a hatchet so maybe we'll do some gathering this round i think that's a better idea 
Okay. So, what are the actions for this round going to be? I think actually <clears throat> we are uh, going to use our carpenter to to build up our palisade for one because we are going to lose a palisade level I think I think we just can't stop that we're going to gather wood uh, and I think that if you don't gather on your shelter spot then you need to use some others too so we're going to also gather over here Maybe we'll do it the other way around so that if an adventure comes up and it says that the resource is ex uh, is depleted, then we'll uh, have the one that we are not gathering from. Okay, so let's see. We have used everything, we're not going to use the dog, we're not going to hunt, we're building up the palisade. Yes, so. We're not going to do this one. Are we going to build? Yes, we are going to build. And even if we use two tokens, because there's this adventure token on top of it, we are going to need to have an adventure. So we'll take back the tokens. We'll use up the pelt. We build up our palisade level by one. And we pick up an adventure. So, breakdown. You're not used to working with handmade tools. Uh, one more I'll drop, shuffle it into the event deck. Okay. So actually, this was on the event deck and we're going to put this one on top and we need to shuffle. This could actually be very good for us because otherwise we would have a negative event. Maybe if we shuffle now, it, uh, it, it will not happen. We actually need to put the morale back on minus three. Okay, so this could actually be very bad for us. So we need to do something about morale in the next round. Okay, so yeah, we have an event card on top and not the negative effects. And we lose the adventure token and are we gathering? Yes, we are gathering. So this is an automatic success. Friday and the Explorer. And we get a two wood. Because we've built a basket. And uh, let's see. We're also gathering with a bit of risk. And we have a success and an adventure. So we actually get another wood. If we can get it. So another wood. We put it in the temporary supply. And we'll have an adventure. Winter freezing. Winter is reducing the amount of sources on the island. Choose one source on the tile that you were gathering resources. Cover this source with a black token to indicate that it is exhausted. Well, actually I don't have any black tokens, so I'll use this white one. Um, maybe I should have used them in the first place. But this wood tile is exhausted. So actually the very thing that I was warning you about, it happened that um, I didn't want the gather tile to be depleted and now it's not on a gathering tile, so we actually still make two wood each gathering. So I think that was pretty smart. Okay, so I think we've done all the actions again. We'll go into the weather phase. Let's see what we roll. Okay, so this is pretty bad. Actually, I didn't even think about food, but okay, oh well. Hmm. Okay, so palisade. 
our palisade goes down one level. Not the end of the world. Now, we have a roof level of three, but this was a particular bad weather. So we have two snow, two rain. So actually we need to, uh, for each roof level that we are missing, we need to give up one wood and one, uh, one food. So if we get the wood, one food, one wood. And because we got two snow, we actually have to discard the other two wood as well. Hmm. Okay. So, at this time we have no resources left at all. <laughs> so this is pretty funny. Um, we actually have nothing to eat. We have shelter, but... Uh, if we don't eat, which we are not going to do, we each take two damage. So, one, two damage, and one, two damage. Now, uh, we need to lower the morale, and we can't. So that actually probably means that we'll lose another damage for the carpenter. So like I told you, that snowball effect. So let me look it up in the, in the rules. So let's see. Well, we'll actually do it like uh, we lose another uh, because we uh, did the morale, we lose another damage, and both characters will lose another damage. It's probably what it is, but. Like in uh, Arkham Horror, I don't know if you know the game. It's the rule, the black rule. Uh, if you don't really know the rule, just do the baddest thing that can help it happen to you. Oh, I actually did that. So now we're both on the brink of death, and the ship is almost coming, but we have no wood. So everything looked pretty great, but at this moment in time, it, uh, we can still lose easily, easily. Okay, so next level, now next level, next round. We'll uh, move the player one token, and we do the event. Wreck balloon. You hear screaming and a loud bump during the night. In the morning, you find a wreck balloon and two dead bodies. We need to lower the morale. So now we lower the morale, and if we play by the rule that we were playing right before, this means that the carpenter now is dead. So we have no more carpenter. So let's just, uh, yeah, he's just out of the equation. He's just dead. Let's just take everything. Um, and we, <laughs> we damage him again. And this means another morale loss. So he is dead as well. So morale got us in the end. We had a pretty good shelter. We had weapons, we uh, had half of a wood pile, we saw a ship in the distance but he couldn't see our fire yet, even if we lit it, needed to wait probably one more round, two more rounds, but we didn't see it, we didn't have the morale and we didn't see the, the, the end in sight, uh, so we actually lost. I really thought it was a good game and I really thought that we had a shot of winning it but oh well that's Robinson Crusoe you lose more than you win and I think that I played most rules uh, good like even with the black rule I think that that was uh, probably the best way to go about it need to look it up afterwards but yeah so I really like the game first and foremost it's absolutely brutal uh, you have a lot of random things you have the risk management, you need to get your inventions up, 
uh, so that you can have a sort of an engine if you can call it like that um, but if you don't have it you cannot do these kind of cards um, you cannot build the hatchet or the mast we didn't do that this game but if we had the hatchet maybe uh, we could uh, still uh, get some more uh, wood on the pile but I don't think it would have mattered um, you have the uh, inventions that are always there then the random inventions uh, the events that come in uh, the adventures that you go on and that will come back to haunt you later on in the game so there was a puma we didn't even see it yet and you have to work together to get all of these uh, uh, things to actually survive and it really 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 feels like a survival game it's not a tacked on team it is a survival game purely and to be honest I really like it as a solo game I think it works better solo than it works with uh, more people uh, because there's a large uh, there's, a, there's a good chance that somebody's quarterbacking the game so if you were three people one person already played it then probably it's uh, uh, one guy that makes all the choices that tells everybody where to go if you do it solo you have everything in your own hands so and this time only I am to blame that we have lost so we've lost the carpenter we lost the explorer Friday lost his friends there's a dog still roaming the island probably in Friday's uh, in, in Friday, Friday's care uh, but actually the survivors that washed on the shore they couldn't make it this time too bad if you made it to the end of this video this is even my first video that I'm going to put online maybe you've seen it uh, in how the, the, the video looks uh, maybe sometimes the camera the hand camera wasn't in the picture I'm sorry about that I made some rude mistakes but if you made it to the end of this video uh, would you please uh, like subscribe uh, maybe put in a comment I'll, uh, I'll uh, reply to all your comments and um, tell me what kind of games that you like I have a big collection and uh, I'm, I uh, will do uh, the, the team that uh, you guys uh, put in the comments so if you made it to the end please like subscribe and uh, see you again soon bye bye